Hi creatives! So before I get into this week's vlog, I just wanted to chat to you about something. Oh, you noticed my clothes today? Yes, well, you know, as a teenager growing up and even as a young woman, I used to never like to get out of my pyjamas. So now as a, a grown-up, as a middle-aged woman, I just buy clothes that look like pyjamas. See? Yay! So I never actually have to get out of my pyjamas. Well, I do. I just get out of my pyjamas and wear clothes that look like pyjamas. That are actually silk. <laughs> Girl needs some luxury. Yes, they do. Anyway, um, just wanted to talk to you about uh, doubters. Because if you're like, just subscribe to my channel um, you are just seeing the start of my channel and it's actually really scary guys because you're sort of like wondering is this stuff going to resonate with your audience are they going to like it will people watch but the whole idea is this is my passion and my purpose is my service to you so I'm sharing my passion and hopefully by sharing my passion, I will be of some service to you in some way. Um, because my passion has made me uh, more creative and as a result, I've had a better life um, and a more fulfilling life. And I want to share it with you, some ideas based around that. So that's the whole idea about these vlogs and also about this whole channel but I just want to address this thing where you know people tend to ignore you or don't want to make a comment about what you're doing and I'm just here to say that shouldn't stop you and that should not make you feel insecure because quite frankly, I, I know this for a fact that um, people who don't produce their own work, uh, aren't creative themselves, um, are the most likely people who will not give you feedback. Um, but should you be worried about them? No. Um, just focus on those one or two people who are really wanting your success and um, are most likely uh, who are genuinely creative themselves uh, the other thing is if you if you keep focusing on the people who are not responding um, or not commenting or not acknowledging what you're doing and if they do acknowledge it, um, say that, oh, you know, you shouldn't be doing what you're doing, you should be doing this instead, then you'd have more views or more likes or put more people subscribing. And yeah, for, to a certain extent, you should listen to that. But really, um, if what they're saying isn't really resonating with you or is not useful to what the, the the vision that you have for yourself and for your channel then just disregard it and do whatever you want do go ahead and do it um, anyway the most important thing to me is that this makes me happy and I feel like I am giving back um, all all the blessings that I have and I'm so um, blessed to have this life and this opportunity um, I want to share uh, and give back in some way so yeah so that is um, what I wanted to say but um, before I go as I I kind of like to talk about a book that I'm reading um, actually two books um, these are two great books, um, Taming the Tiger Parent by 
Tanith Carey and the conscious parent you may have heard of Shefali Tasbury before she's you know been on Oprah and stuff like that but these this this book especially is so fantastic I I really love this but I got a lot out of this because it's really important as parents to be conscious parents usually um, we think that when problems um, come up within our family that it you know with our children that it's usually their problem and in actually it's not their problem it's um, you <laughs> that's what she says and you know it's your perception, how you are dealing with their problem, how you're perceiving their problem, um, how you're reacting to their problem, which is not really their problem. It's your problem because um, either um, through your negative perception, uh, you blow it out of proportion or make it worse than it is, um, or because of your unconscious behavior, you just perpetuate a negative cycle and it, it, it just blows out of proportion um, and, and become out of control. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, you've just got to read that. That's so good. And this one, it, this is a fantastic book too because it not only... Uh, teaches you about how to raise children in a in a in a positive way without the undue pressure that you put upon them because you're competitive um, and and you're insecure about yourself and um, your place in society and what you feel you need to do to prove yourself and feel accepted. Um, when it's actually just about being happy. Um, it's not about what people think of you. It's just about how you, what you think of yourself. But often parents uh, disregard that and think that, you know, they're kind of like sheeple. <laughs> uh, a friend of mine just coined that phrase sheeple uh, or word. I don't know. Anyway, um, you know, people who just follow along with society what what it, what they think is success is and and just do that and then end up being really unhappy and then they go oh okay i've done all these things but i'm still unhappy yeah that's because you know you forgot the purpose the real purpose of life yeah so it was really good like you know have you ever had this you know um on page 96 it's it says about a a, a mother belinda who um wait just a minute okay that's better um belinda she describes the one finger clap she uses to describe the grudging applause in school concerts for, for performers who are more competent than her son other mothers admitted to feigning disinterest, looking bored, or saying as little as possible. Okay, so this is this is for people like that is what people do. Okay, and then for creatives, you people, creatives, you can't you you can't let these people get you down. You can't let these people determine what you have to offer because there are people like that sadly it's true and uh, do not uh, let them determine how you see yourself and uh, you've just got to keep swimming just keep swimming and uh, do your thing be yourself um, and honestly don't be a sheeple yeah just be your weird wacky self if people judge you because you wear your pajamas all day well just upgrade your pajamas to silk pajamas and wear your damn pajamas all day because you love them you want to be comfortable and it makes you more productive and creative yeah and if you honestly if you have the power to decide to wear your pajamas all day you're a powerful woman Yes, you are. So yeah, that's my spiel. Um, 
you'll see a little like um, quick montage of what I got up to last week and um, before the we, this video ends and I really hope <laughs> that you enjoy it and get something out of it maybe it'll inspire you to tr you know try your creative thumb at something stick your creative thumb at something not stick your uncreative thumb at someone <laughs> yeah and um give some you know give some creative something yeah do something creative this week it's good for you okay so creatives that's all for me from darshi de silva this week bye welcome to my little corner in my garage this is where i do my carving that's a little card that my little daughter made for me that's my dying or dead sunflower that my older daughter bought me for my wedding anniversary by the way 19 years guys awesome so um that's my soap dish that i'm making this is all just like a little experiment um, to get used to my new dremel tool it's brand new i just bought it recently or my husband helped me buy it um he uses a uh, dremel tool for his bone carving guys uh yeah he's a surgeon and he carves bones uh practices carving bones not on real people yeah anyway um for his surgery so he helped me buy this dremel and i am going to make this lovely little soap dish for my kitchen and attach some crystals onto it because i love crystals um yeah so i hope you enjoy watching this a uh, little uh, introduction to myself in sandstone carving it's so much fun um, I have had to uh, had to uh, really uh, get the, the mask on and proper safety gear on so please guys if you're going to try this at home make sure you you are wearing wearing the proper safety gear um, you do not want to die from having sandstone in your lungs in another you know two years <laughs> yeah so um, please if you're going to do this at home do stay safe uh, but it was so fun so you've got to try it last week I made several soap dishes and a lampstand with the sandstone but I also got in a little bit of gardening, which I consider as creative. Uh, this is me topsoiling my lawn. Yeah, it's not super fun, but it's got to be done. Yeah, so there I am, raking away. Finally, as a surprise to my little girl, who is six, um, I got together with my older daughters and decided to transform her room and create a little special nook uh, for her and her friends to play in. It was gorgeous and she loved it. Creatives, those were my um, highlights from this week in creativity. I hope you enjoy. See you next week.